Hello and welcome. I'm your Global Mobis News MC, Stefan. And I'm your Global Mobis News MC, Karain. Karain, can you believe it's already November? It seems like time is just speeding by and just yesterday we made our New Year's resolutions. How about your resolutions? Well, one of my resolutions this year was to cook at least five times at home, but I'd say I was successful for all of one week. <laughs> what about you, Stefan? Oh, well, my resolution was I was going to read one book every month and I was going to drink coffee just once a day. And it started out really well, but honestly, I drank a ton of coffee and I didn't actually read any books yet. <laughs> well, better luck next year, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope our fellow Mobis employees are wrapping up the year with some successful resolutions under their belts. And if you haven't yet met your goals, you actually have some time. You know, they say that it takes 21 days to form a habit. So how about one last ditch effort until the end of the year? Copy diem and all that. I mean, technically, you'd be head of the game for 2024 too. <laughs> exactly. November is the new January for sure. Here's to your most productive November yet. Well, shall we go ahead and see what news we have for the month? Yeah, let's jump right in. All right. Oh, Whoa, wow. <laughs> looks like it's been another busy month. Yeah, it looks like Mobis has really been jet-setting all over the globe this month. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we've been in China, Japan, Korea, the US. But how about we take a closer look? Our Alabama Georgia branch hosted a successful junior engineer class event. For over 10 years, this class has been a major community program for Mobis, encouraging elementary schoolers to continue growing in their love of science. And beyond just Korea, the class has been run globally since 2014. Oh yes, I heard it was at West Point Elementary School this year. Mm, yes, exactly. I know they assembled smart cars with LCAS, otherwise known as Lane Keeping Assist System. Kids assembling smart cars? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, how about we hear more in detail from local employee Natisha? Hi. Hello. So first off, could you please introduce yourself? My name is Natisha McGee. I am the General Affairs Assistant Manager here at Novus Georgia location. I've been with the company for 14 and a half years, and my work experience include office assets, company uniforms, employee engagement, event planning, community involvement, vending, budget managing, office renovations, along with so many, many other achievements. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Junior Engineer Class is a community program held in Korea, but how amazing that it's being held abroad as well. Could you please share with us the story of how the event came to take place at West Point Elementary School? Yes, West Point Elementary is a local elementary school in True County. It allows Mobis Georgia the ability to come into the schools and help children learn self-guided activities. We pride ourselves in staying connected with the schools in the community to increase student achievement and enrich educational experiences. We also invited the mayor of West Point, Georgia, Mr. Uh, Steve Trammell, to the Junior Engineering event. He was very impressed with the joint partnership and the students' willingness to learn. The collaboration of the two created a pathway for new events. West Point Elementary is allowing Lewis, Georgia to hold their first annual 5K race on November 4th, which will take place on the school's track and field. I love that. Can you share with us some details about the students that took part in this event? And I'm also curious to know what kinds of activities you did together. We had 37 third graders that participated in the junior engineering event. Their excitement was so contagious, which made the time spent not only productive, but enjoyable. Um, in addition to teamwork and problem-based learning was taught, um, there were some students that actually finished quickly and stepped up to the plate to help others and grew into leaders during this event. Um, we enjoyed pizza and beverages and giveaways along with the students upon completion of the event with the MOVA staff and the mayor. Wow. It seems like something the kids would really enjoy. Can you tell us a little bit about the students' reactions when they first heard about the class? And what about during the class? Yes, the students were very inquisitive and so excited. They had great, great questions and team participation. Um, most of them mentioned um, their desire for us to come back the next time an opportunity to build real cars. They wanted to know when were we coming back and what will we bring and how can they contribute to the next event. Um, others mentioned how proud they were to have completed such a task that they've never 
accomplished before? Well, I can imagine that the employees were doing some heavy lifting to put it all together. What was it like for you to participate? Did it have a significant meaning for you personally? Right. Personally, for me, the self gratification of being able to interact with the students and seeing their confidence and their smiles, it encourages me to just want to do more. So, if you had any expectations for future junior engineering class programs, what are they? Yes, um, most Georgia expectations um, we possibly will incorporate a new junior engineering program such as the Green Power program. Um, it represents renewable energy resources and technologies that provide greater um, environmental benefits. And by continuing junior engineering programs, we're building future engineers. Wow, I can really feel the enthusiasm from here, Natisha. This has been so heartwarming to hear and I cannot wait to see what these future engineers will achieve. Yes, me too. <laughs> and thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I'm so excited to see what Mobis continues to contribute to the community. To strengthen research around electrification technology, Mobis has opened up a new R&D center in Iwang, Korea, dedicated solely for electrification. Let's take a look at the sketch video on facility. Wow. I wonder how many football fields would fit in that building. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> the entire space in the facility looks so sophisticated too. Yeah, definitely. All of the interior and different spaces seem very modern and trendy. Mm -hmm. I think it would really hike up the work fever for all the research engineers. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, I want to work there too. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but do you know why they opened this new R&D center? Oh, great question. You know that the automotive industry is transitioning from internal combustion vehicles to EVs, right? Yes, we're seeing more EVs on the road. I heard that all the car makers are fiercely expanding EV production. Hmm, yeah, and especially with global warming being such a dire issue, more countries are committing to carbon neutrality and transitioning from internal combustion to EVs as they become one of the key solutions. Yeah, I also read that EVs play a huge role in reducing carbon emissions too. Yeah, exactly. The sale of internal combustion vehicles is being banned in 2035. And that's not true just in Korea, but everywhere that internal combustion vehicles are produced. So producing electrification products and gaining more competitiveness in this field are really the key assets for companies like Mobis. Aha, uh -huh. and so the new R&D center plays a crucial role for Mobis to elevate their competitive edge in the electrification area. Mm, absolutely. You know, Mobis already has various global operations dedicated to electrification. Manufacturing plants and sales and R&D offices are already spread around the globe, including Europe, Asia, and North America. And with the new R&D center in Korea that we just saw, Mobis will build more momentum to develop top-class products, including battery systems, integrated charging units, and electric-powered driving systems. Well, in my completely unbiased opinion, <laughs> I think that Mobis's dedication to research naturally brings them to the position of front-runner in the global electrification market. Well, yeah, of course, that's objectively true, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Mobis is revving up its expansion in the Japanese market through its very first participation in Japan Mobility Show, held from October 26th to November 5th. From CES held in the US earlier this year to IAA in Germany, to the Detroit Auto Show and now the Japan Mobility Show, wow, talk about jet lag. <laughs> <laughs> right? What a busy year. <laughs> And this auto show in particular really let Mobis's electrification, lamp, IVI, and other core technology shine. To create new business opportunities, Mobis even had a private booth to meet clients and fully show off the tech. Sounds like Mobis is putting in the work to win more overseas orders. Nice. And also outside of this, Mobis onboarded two new recruits with backgrounds in serving executive roles in major Japanese car brands expanding the management team that deals in affairs with Japan. I'm excited to see what Mobis brings to the Japanese market. I know Japan is considered a country that's a bit late to the transition to electrification. So I think this mobility show is a good opportunity for Mobis. Yeah, I think that's definitely true. Japan is a little bit late to the game for the transition to electrification because of its large proportion of internal combustion and hybrid vehicles. And this is actually good for Mobis because it gives them a chance to step in and make sales to Japan's car brands. This could be a win-win for everyone, elevating the Japanese EV market 
whilst also providing more sales opportunities for Mobis. Yeah, just like the battery system sales to Volkswagen, I'm hoping that this can be a good way for Mobis to make a name for itself in Japan too. Mobis has participated in the China International Import Expo for the sixth time since 2018. Oh, you mean Mobis hasn't missed a single year since 2018? That's right. Oh. <laughs> Where's that perfect attendance award? Oh, exactly. <laughs> Also, could you tell me what exactly is the China International Import Expo? So, it's a large-scale international fair held by the Chinese Ministry of Commerce and the Shanghai city government, meant to open the Chinese market up to the rest of the world. Ah, so how large-scale are we talking? Well, last year, a total of 2,800 companies participated from 127 countries, if that gives you a sense of the scale. Ah, okay. <laughs> 54 companies participate from Korea alone, and the expo boasted a whopping 460,000 visitors. Okay, so just a few neighborhood friends then, right? <laughs> <laughs> what exactly did Mobis exhibit there? Mobis showed off the M Vision 2 and M Brain at CIIE under the slogan New Mobility, New Mobis. The M Vision 2 is a mobility concept that incorporates the in wheel motor, the e corner system, communication lighting, and more cutting-edge tech to bring autonomous driving and future mobility to life. And M-Brain, well, you already know, <laughs> is the brainwave monitoring system built for drivers. You know, I really feel like M-Brain is our unofficial guest every month at this point. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Were there any opportunities to experience the technology directly? Uh, yeah, there was a simulation, so you could test drive in the booth with rave reviews. Oh, nice. I can only imagine the reactions. <laughs> well, I really hope to hear some good news from China after CIIE. Well, that is all the news we had for you this month, and what a month it's been. And just a little more November left, and it's your last chance to jump into a pile of leaves. Is it bad that I'm done doing that? <laughs> and I've skipped right ahead to the Christmas Carol playlist already. <laughs> Looking forward to a festive December edition. Oh, wow, yeah. So I'm gonna have Christmas music stuck in my head for the rest of the day now. <laughs> but anyhow, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.